Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing? I've got to turn my volume up. Okay, well, I'm not doing any effects tonight. No, no effects because they're kind of distracting. So I want to talk to you about the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit. He is so powerful. I want to share with you some things that He does in our lives. Some things that uh, He is. Some attributes and how that power, we have that power in us. We have the power of the Holy Spirit in us. Okay, well, let's, sorry I'm a little bit late. Um, let's jump into prayer and then we will jump right into the scripture. I didn't number them again, but I did kind of look over them a while ago. Just having a hard time getting here on time. I don't know. You know, it's not like I have to jump in my car and drive here. I, I live here. This is just my office. It's just down the hall. <laughs> and so... <laughs> It's just crazy. It is just crazy. I've been listening to some crazy stuff today. I tell you what. I am thankful that we have Jesus. I am thankful that we have God. And I am thankful that we have the Holy Spirit. To guide us and to do the things that He does. Okay. Well, let's pray. Okay. I'm going to get down here on my knees. I like to pray that way. Hopefully my cat won't come and jump in the chair. She does sometimes. I have my Citizen Way t-shirt on. My Wave Walker t-shirt. <clears throat> God, we just come to you and we just... Uh, we humble ourselves before you, God. Because you are the great I Am and you are the great Jehovah. And you are all-powerful. You are almighty, God. You are from everlasting to everlasting. You have always been. You are our everlasting Father. And we just thank you and give you all the glory, honor, and praise that you deserve. God, thank you for being our creator and sustainer. Thank you for being our protector, our provider, our shelter in the storm. Thank you for being our healer, God. God, we just... Um, you are powerful and mighty, God. And you are the righteous judge that will come and judge all unrighteousness. But God, you're just reaching out to people and asking them to repent. Repent. Repent, repent. And God, you are kind and loving and um, faithful. You're forgiving. God, you want none to perish. And we just thank you and we love you. We thank you for loving us. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And God, we just lift up sick people to you without even saying their names. God, you know even more details than we do. So we just pray for healing. We pray for healing for the sick, either from this disease or from anything else, God. We pray for healing. And God, we just, uh, we pray, God, for um, the lost. We just pray that you would allow, <clears throat> excuse me, that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, God, and that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus. And God, we pray for the prodigals. We pray for them to repent and to return to you. We pray for all the many disasters that are going on. I don't even know what happened today because I really just don't know yet. But I'm sure something disastrous happened today. God, just please be with these people. Let them feel your presence, God. Let them seek your face. We pray for all the many, many people that have lost loved ones. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength, God. We just pray that they would feel your presence and that you 
You would be who they seek in their heart. And we just lay all these things at your feet, God, according to your will and your way. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, my friends, I have got to go find my water. And I will be right back. Um, but I am really thirsty. And my throat... I don't think I have any candy in here. My throat is really dry. It's going to be really hard to get through this lesson without water. So I'll be right back. Well, I didn't have to go very far at all. Oops. It was in my home. I left it in my home. Okay, let's talk about the Holy Spirit. Let me get my music started. I usually do that first. But like I said, I just don't seem to be able to get in here and get things done. Now I lost my camera. There we are. It's back. All right, I'm listening to you right now. I'm listening to Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. And um, I should have um, I shared another Holy Spirit song on Facebook that I wanted to read to you also. I might have to start getting in here earlier and getting things in line. And I apologize. Um, I do apologize. If I can find this. And so I'll just preface. I will preface. I don't know if I can scoot this over. Oh, I can. Looky there. No, I can't. I just like scooted everything out of the way. <laughs> All right, but I'll just have to do this. I'll have to move my camera over here. Oh, my camera went bye-bye. All right, there's a place that I have to grab my camera to move it. There we are. Okay. So, I was looking for actually this song that I'm listening to oh, there went my stinking camera again there it's back okay so I was actually looking for another song I was listening I was looking for the song that I heard last year and I couldn't find it so um, I found this call this song called Spirit Move by Bethel Music and um, I really, really like this song. Of course, I really, really like a lot of songs. You know what? I forget that this computer screen is a touch screen. I lost my camera again. There we are. Okay, so I found this song, Spirit Move, by Bethel Music. And um, the Holy Spirit right now I don't know if you can feel it. There is like this intense spiritual battle between good and evil going on. And uh, the Holy Spirit is pouring out. We're going to read this. And we're probably going to read it next. He is pouring out on the young and old. Young and old people are having dreams. They're having visions. The Holy Spirit is pouring things out on people. Uh, some righteous, some unrighteous. There are many people that are of the Muslim faith that have had dreams of Jesus and gotten saved. The Holy Spirit is pouring out on the young and the old. So discernment of truth is reigning above all the lies circulating lately. Soon, you're going to see just a bunch of truth come out. And some people are not going to believe what they're hearing. But it's the truth. And it's because 
The truth is always going to rise up above the lies. So test these lies against the truth of God's word. God's word. And they do not stand. They don't stand against God's word. The Holy Spirit is moving to and fro, seeing who really wants to walk in the Spirit, obeying God, and unashamedly sharing God's truth and the gospel of Jesus. Young and old are having dreams and prophesying, just like it says in God's Word. And we're going to read that. We're going to read it. It's in Joel 2. I already found that. The... Um, the Holy Spirit is drawing many to Jesus to be saved. Like right now is a time of harvest. And so the Holy Spirit is drawing people to Jesus. People cannot be saved unless the Holy Spirit draws them spiritually to Jesus for salvation. Um, the Holy Spirit is convicting many of sins, leading them to repentance and reconciliation with Jesus. The Holy Spirit lives in us and gives us the fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I will be honest sometimes. I'm juggling them rather than walking in them. The Holy Spirit also utters... I lost my camera again. I have to get my camera over here. I mean, I don't think I'm losing anything on my videos when I do that. I could, I would probably be okay just to leave it, but I don't know that. I haven't used this UCAM video, I mean, camera for a long time. Okay, so where are we? The Holy Spirit also utters what we do not know to add in our prayers before God. God is such a holy God. We don't know. The Holy Spirit comes in and makes our prayers. He utters what needs to be added to our prayers for God. He does that. He also leads us to Scripture. He led me to Joel. I was like, I think it's Joel. I'm not sure. So I looked up Joel. And um, he led me to Joel. He does that. We ask him, okay, okay, where is the scripture that I need for this? He will, he'll take us to it. The Holy Spirit brings us peace when we are walking uprightly before God. Because when we are walking uprightly before God, he's not convicting our heart of sin. The Holy Spirit brings us, uh, He also leads us to Scripture as we need it. The Holy Spirit is powerful and often the part of the Holy Trinity spoken of the least. That's what I see. There aren't a whole lot of sermons about the Holy Spirit. There are some here and there, but most of the sermons are based on God and they're based on Jesus. But the Holy Spirit is a very important part of the Holy Trinity. Um, he is not the least, but equal with his own attributes. We need the Holy Spirit to draw the lost to Jesus. God is reaching out to his children to come into a relationship with the Holy Spirit, to come to Jesus for salvation. If this is you, do you feel like something's missing in your heart? It's Jesus. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. And I put the verses John 3:16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. And there's a little bit more on there, but I don't want to lose my camera again. And I lost my music, but it's playing right now, so we're good. Okay, so let's dive into the scripture. And uh, welcome to anyone who comes and watches this. Um, you may not know who I am, 
A lot of my friends on Facebook know who I am. But I feel like God has called me to share His truths and the gospel of Jesus. And so, this is what I do. And I started last year doing this uh, live on Facebook on uh, Awesome Treasures Ministry. Um, I also have Awesome Treasures 777 on YouTube. And um, I have Gab now. I'm on Gab, which is Awesome Treasures 777. I don't really, I'm not on Gab every day. And I am soon to set up my account on Rumble and start using it. And the reason why alternative platforms are needed is because we don't believe, many do not believe, that our speech is going to remain free. We feel like our speeches and our rights are being taken away. And if you agree with that or not, I don't really care. That is what many believe. Okay? And that's what God's Word says, too, will happen. Okay. I don't know why God wanted me to tell you that. But I do know one thing. I have read this Bible. I do not know everything about this Bible. But the more I read about the Bible... The more I read in the Bible, the more I learn. And uh, God's Word is truth. And people that are not, that are wavering back and forth between God's Word and the world, it's not it's not going to be a good ending. Alright, I thought I knew where Joel was, but apparently I don't. So there is no shame in looking at the front of your Bible if you don't know where things are. Sometimes I know where things are, but I don't know where things are. And so Joel is in the... Old Testament between Hosea and Amos and in my Bible is page 691 so I, I'm never going to claim to be some perfect Bible scholar because I'm not and that's not what I've been called to do and a lot of times um, what I have learned I've been led to places by the Holy Spirit like this that I'm going to read you in Joel. This is happening right now. What I'm going to read you is happening right now. And people need to open their eyes and their ears to the truth because this is what is happening And I'm going to start in Joel 2, 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and no one else and my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. God is pouring out his spirit right now. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. We are seeing pillars of smoke come out of many, many, many volcanoes. There are lots of volcanoes that have erupted lately. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come 
And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord hath said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. So that spirit, that Holy Spirit, that Holy Ghost Spirit is being poured over everyone on this earth. There are people, young men and young women, that have boldness. They are street preaching. They are calling people into repentance. Because time is running out. And I don't say that to scare you. I say that so you'll be prepared. Because Jesus is going to come. And when Jesus comes, no one is going to have time to get saved in that instant. You need to be saved. You need to be saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus His Son. And when you get saved, you receive the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit does the very things that I talked about. He gives us discernment. He gives us conviction when we sin. He gives us confirmation. He gives us guidance. He guides us where we need to go. He, um, he utters what we need uttered in our prayers. He does so many things, but He is moving to and fro looking for God's children and calling the unrighteous to Jesus. He is opening eyes. He is opening hearts. He is placing people in people's lives to share the gospel with them. Oh, I like this song too. I forgot about this song. It's a good song. It's about the Holy Spirit too. Come rest on us. He will come rest on us. Okay, so let's get into some of these scriptures. Let's see where I want to start. I'm not sure. I wish I knew. I kind of like to go in order because it's easier to find in the Bible when I do. So let's start in... There's not a Matthew. There's not a Mark. So let's start in Luke. Luke one thirty-five. And this is about Mary. And this is about the Holy Ghost and Mary. And it just shows that Jesus is anointed by the Holy Ghost. Okay, Luke one thirty-five. One thirty-five says, And the angel answered and said unto her, that's Mary, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. So that is when the angel came and talked to Mary about the Holy Ghost. And that her son would be holy also. Which is pretty awesome. Because Jesus is holy. Okay, so John would be next. John 3, 5. forgot about this song, but I shared this song on Facebook. Okay, so John 3, 5 is Jesus talking to Nicodemus. I'm just going to start with one. 
There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. So we cannot see the Holy Spirit. We can't see the Holy Spirit, but we can feel the Holy Spirit. And here I can feel when the Holy Spirit moves. I can tell when I am moved by the Holy Spirit. I can so tell. And if you're saved, you can too. And it's just a quickening that you know. And so while I was reading that, I was thinking about the promise which I spent 27 seasons working in the box office. And so when, when I read something in the Bible that um, is in the promise, <laughs> it's a scene from the promise, I ha instantaneously have a picture in my mind of that scene. And I have seen it done by so many people, so many people. But one man comes to mind that went to my church. Such a special man. And so I have that in my mind. And one day, one day we will see all of our people. Um, we'll see everybody in heaven. It will be a huge reunion. It will be the best reunion ever. Ever, ever, ever. Of brothers and sisters. Okay, I don't know whether y'all can see my messages when they come up or not. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'll address that later. Okay. So let's move on. So if you've ever been to The Promise, and you know what I'm talking about. Which is a musical drama about the life of Jesus Christ. From the Old Testament prophets all the way through the Ascension. Awesome show with awesome talent. Um, try to go if you can. I don't work there anymore, so I really don't have many details. But if you PM me, I still have their number memorized, so I could give you that. Okay, John 8.32. Now we're going to skip that one. I don't see that that has anything to do with that. Um, John 16, 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. So that's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit guides us to truth. Because I don't, I can just, I don't know. I have very, I'm not bragging on myself, but I have very keen spiritual discernment when I meet people. There's something in my spirit that either clicks with them or does not. There are people, there are famous people 
that um, I, there's something that grates against my spirit when they speak. And that's the spirit leads us to truth. Okay. So John 16, 13 is about the spirit leading us to the truth. Oh, um, I missed John 14, 26. So we're going to have to backtrack just a page or two. Actually not, just one page. Okay, 14, John 14, 26. And this is Jesus talking, and that was Jesus talking in John 16, 13 also. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, from the Father, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, Give I unto you, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard how I said unto you, I go away, and come again unto you. If ye loved me, you would rejoice, because I said, I go unto my Father, for my Father is greater than I. I love this song, I'm listening to the Father's house. <laughs> That's where Jesus went. Jesus went to the Father's house. But I think they're, they're referring in this song to the Father's house as the church. That, that your shame, check it at the door. It's not welcome anymore. Anyway, I, I like this song. But heaven is called the Father's house too. Okay, so let me see what is next after John is Acts. And I have a couple on here of Acts. Um, Acts 1 8 is again Jesus speaking. Okay, I'm going to start in 4, because that's where Jesus starts speaking. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, Ye have heard of me, for John truly baptized with water, and ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? You see, the Israelites, the Jews, they were always wanting Israel restored as the true kingdom. And at this time, they were under the rule of the Romans. They kind of... Uh, coexisted with the Romans because they had their Pharisees and their Sadducees they had their religious leaders that led the Jews but the Romans they were in the charge of punishment <laughs> bad punishment they were not nice and he said unto them it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the father hath put in his own power. So we don't know when Jesus is coming back. Maybe 20 years from now. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe in five seconds. I may not be sitting here in five seconds. We don't know. That's why we need to be ready. We have to be ready. We have to be ready at any moment. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. 
I know a family that just moved to Africa. They felt led to go and minister in Africa. And they just got there. So we are to share. We are to share about Jesus everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, so that was Acts 1-8. So let's read Acts 2-38. Now, I want to read about Pentecost. It is not in here. It says 238. But that's actually not even talking about the apostles. That's talking about the people that have experienced what happened. But I want to start with Acts 2.1. And I may or may not read through 38. We'll see. Okay, well, I'm going to start reading in Acts 1. I mean Acts 2. Sorry, Acts 2. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Spirit gave them utterance. As the Spirit gave them utterance. I know I've read that a lot of times, but I just saw it tonight. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven and with and when this was noised abroad the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language and they were all amazed and marveled saying one to another behold are not all these which speak Galileans and how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born Parthians and Medes and Elamites and the dwellers of Mesopotamia and in Judea and Cappadocia in Pontus and Asia and Phrygia and Pamphylia in Egypt and in the parts of Libya without Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians. We do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, What meaneth this? Others mocking said, These men are full of new wine. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you and hearken to my words, for these are not drunken as ye suppose. Seeing it is but the third hour of the day, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last day, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit. And they shall prophesy, and I will show wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire, and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before that great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth. A man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you, as you yourselves also know, him being delivered by the determinate counsel 
and foreknowledge of God ye have taken, and by wicked hands have crucified and slain, whom God hath raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be holden of it. For David speaketh concerning him, I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is on my right hand, that I should not be moved. Therefore did my heart rejoice, and my tongue was glad. Moreover, also my flesh shall rest in hope, because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou hast made known to me the ways of life. Thou shalt make me full of joy with thy countenance. Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulchre is with us unto this day. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him that the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne, he, seeing this before, spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. This Jesus hath God raised up, whereof we are all witnesses. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he hath shed forth this, which ye now see and hear. For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith himself, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand. Until I make thy foes thy footstool, therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Talk about revival. The Holy Ghost showed up and there was revival and the Holy Ghost I believe was speaking through hang on let's see if I'm right about this well it doesn't say okay Luke wrote this but that wasn't Luke speaking, it was Peter. That's right, it was Peter speaking, but Luke wrote Acts. Okay, so anyway, that is some kind of revival. Some kind of revival. And um, these people were on fire with the Holy Spirit. Uh, where did I quit reading? And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, in fellowship, and in breaking of bread, and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together, and had all things common, and sold their possessions and goods, and parted them to all men. Excuse me as every man had need. And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily, such as should be saved. So, wow. 
the Holy Spirit showed up in a big way. And the Holy Spirit can show up in a big way in us too. I mean, there are days that I am filled with the Spirit. I am praising and worshiping all day. And then there are days that I'm not. So it's kind of our choice. It depends on what what we want to feed our Holy Spirit. Do we want to feed our Holy Spirit praise and worship and and preaching? Or do we want to feed our Holy Spirit stuff that we really don't have any control over anyway? Um, we have to choose. We have to choose. Okay, so that was worth reading every word. Because that was very, very, very awesome. And that was so much, I may just stop right there. Uh, that was one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do one more. Let's do Titus. Titus 3, 5. Titus 3, 5 says that... Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to His mercy He saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which He shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior, that being justified by His grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. This is a faithful saying, and these things I will that thou affirm constantly that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. And so, hmm, that's good too. Okay. So I think Unless there are some scriptures that you can think of that you want to put in the comments, then I think that's all that God wanted me to share with you about the Holy Spirit. I shared with you what the Holy Spirit helped me write a while ago. Because when I do these song shares, it is not me. It is guidance by the Holy Spirit. He is sharing with me what to say. Because a lot of things, I'm just like, well, I didn't even know I was thinking that. And I think tomorrow night we're going to do a wrap up of um, the Holy Trinity. Unless it is End It, which is a campaign to end human trafficking. If, it, if tomorrow is End It, then we're going to talk about human trafficking. If not, then, um, but that's going to be next. Either I'm going to wrap up with the Trinity, talking about all the attributes of God, all the attributes of Jesus, all the attributes of the Holy Spirit, or um, I'm going to do end it and talk about human trafficking. Because human trafficking is a huge problem. That people should not make money off of. There's too much money made off of human trafficking. It needs to end it. So I will have my red X on my hand. I have a t-shirt. I have a Freedom Fighter t-shirt. I'll have that on tomorrow night if that's what we're going to talk about. And if you want to do some research on that, you can go to uh, a21.org or you can go to our dot org or you can go to ijm dot org those are all freedom fighter ministries and there are a whole lot more that's just what i can think of off the top of my head okay so this is what these are my notes from my uh, quiet time this morning Good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, child. New opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new day to get things done in your house and to teach your child. Well, I did teach my child. I got my trash out. That was something. I had all these aspirations 
but um, oh, I paid a bill too. I came in here and paid a bill, and I ordered groceries. Yeah, that was something. Anyway, maybe tomorrow will be a day that I can get stuff done in my house. Um, I did teach my child. Thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus, a new day to get things done in our house and to teach Seth. Thank you for all my blessings, God. He said, child, be aware of what is going on in the decisions in your government being made, even your state. Be aware of what is going on as you work today. And I, I did listen to some people today while I was um, doing some things. Um, there is so much that is to be revealed soon. Much truth will surface soon, child. Keep expanding your ministry also, child. I have called you to be a messenger for me, to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus with others. There is so much that still needs to be done and complete for Jesus to return. Behold, I do a new thing. People will see the new unfold before their eyes, and many will then believe my word completely like my children do. It will be clear to all when I do it. All will know and see it is my power. All will be amazed. Even my children will be amazed. Many are still on the fence between Jesus and the world and must choose now. They will, they think they have many years to decide, but they do not. So now is the time for salvation. And not later. Do not doubt what I am telling you. You see it confirmed in my word. Read Romans 8 today. And I did read Romans 8 today. And I'm thinking that Romans 8 will be my wrap up. Maybe part of my wrap up tomorrow night. If that's what I do tomorrow night. I did read all of Romans 8. I actually did a lesson on Romans 8. And I might pull it out. And I might just do it. I don't know. All of my power laid out perfectly for all to read and understand. And it's so true. Because it shows it shows God's power. It shows the power of Jesus. It shows the power of the Holy Spirit. And it shows how it all ties together. And how we are part of the kingdom family. Because we are saved through Jesus. We are joint heirs with Jesus because of our salvation. It's really good. So I may just read it tomorrow night. Um, Child, my word is meant to be instructions for life for all. Many, even my children, do not read it and do not spend time with me every day. I long for a closer relationship with all my children. These are my words of instruction and examples for all of mankind, breathed out by me. It is perfect and inerrant also. It is so powerful and can cut to the core of the reader, the very soul of them. And I said, I see all that you are saying, God, in your word, and also in the righteous and unrighteous. I see all of this unfold before my eyes. My prayer is for all truth to rise above the many lies. For all liars to be revealed and all lawbreakers to be jailed for real crimes against humanity and their countries also. Justice to come down on them. And I see why it does not. Because of the level of corruption in all areas of our government and all over the world. It is vast and only an act from you God. Could clean it up. Thank you for meeting with me today, God. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength, God. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I look forward to seeing all of our loved ones and friends with you, God, in perfect peace. I love you too, my child. It will be so very glorious 
when I send Jesus to get my children from earth. It is soon, child. The reunion is soon, so be strong and courageous until the end. Child, continue to be obedient to me until that glorious appearing of Jesus. And I said, Maranatha, God. I'm ready. Maranatha means, come Lord Jesus. So, I am ready. I'm ready, ready, ready. I hope you're ready, ready, ready. And if not, I have an invitation for you. How do I want to do it? I really like, oh, I don't know. How do I want to do it tonight? Let's do it with money. This is a fake million dollar bill. It is not real. I'm sorry, but my other camera is, um, I wonder if I can move it over here. Uh-oh. I don't know. Somebody's asking me something. I did not move it. Well, I can't get it to move. Oh, well. All right, we'll just figure it out. I'll just put it in front of my face on this one. Okay, this is a fake million dollar bill. It's fake as fake can be. But look at it. There's a lot of things that look like our money. Uh, there is a serial number on each end. I used to work at a bank. Uh, I don't know what that is. I wish you'd leave me alone right now. Okay, and see it has the blue thing down the center like our money does. And this is like uh, Benjamin Franklin. And there is a seal. Our money has a seal. It says the United States of America. It looks real, but it's not. So this is a fake million dollar bill. And if you look on the back, it says, In God We Trust. This is really hard to like and get this for both cameras. Okay. In God we trust. I'll just put it in front of my face. I don't know. This is so weird. Okay. In God we trust. So I'm going to read it. Hmm. I keep getting pop-ups. One of our youth girls is contacting me about I don't know what about um anyway okay so here is I didn't make this by the way livingwaters.com did these um what is his name Ray Comfort Ray Comfort and Kirk Cameron are living waters okay here is the million dollar question will you go to heaven when you die here's a quick test have you ever lied, stolen, or used God's name in vain? Jesus said, Whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If you have done these things, God sees you as a lying, thieving, blasphemous, adulterer at heart. And the Bible warns that one day God will punish you in a terrible place called hell. But God is not willing that any should perish. Sinners broke God's law, and Jesus paid their fine. This means that God can legally dismiss their case. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Then Jesus rose from the dead, defeating death. Today repent and trust Jesus. And God will give you eternal life as a free gift. Then read the Bible daily. Obey it. God will never fail you. So if you would like to um, accept Jesus as your Savior. This is like a very short message about it. But there's an ABC to... Um, The salvation. The ABCs of salvation. There we are. So the first one is admit. Admit that you are a sinner. Because we're all sinners. 
there are none of us that are perfect. Even people that are saved are not perfect. We, we still sin. But we ask for forgiveness and we try not to sin. Okay? But Jesus died for all. So admit you're a sinner and ask for forgiveness. So the second one is believe. Believe that Jesus is God's one and only Son. And that He came to earth. He came to earth in the flesh. God came to earth in the flesh. He taught. He healed. He loved people. He showed compassion. And then... He was crucified on the cross. And while he was crucified, being crucified, all of our sin, past, present, and future, and all of our shame was put upon him at that time. He died. He did die. And he was buried. But he was only buried for three days. And then he rose on the third day. And when he rose, he showed himself to very a lot of people. And then he ascended to the right hand side of God, just like we we read tonight. C. Confess Jesus is your Savior and Lord of your life. Like he said here, read God's word every day. Pray to God. Prayer, communication with God is very important. And find you some praise and worship music. Or find some pastor that you like to listen to. Ray Comfort is good. He's good. And there are a lot of good pastors that preach and teach out of the Bible. You want to make sure they're preaching and teaching out of the Bible, that they're not just telling you stuff, that what they tell you can be backed up in Scripture. So, that's what's required. And so, pray your own prayer. Well, I'm used to leading people in prayer, but it's not the prayer that saves you. It's the belief. You have to believe in Jesus and who He is. You have to invite Him into your life. And when you do get saved, then you get the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gives you discernment. The Holy Spirit convicts you when you sin. The Holy Spirit leads you and guides you. The Holy Spirit will quicken in you when, when you are spiritually moved. So many things that the Holy Spirit does. Okay. So I think I've done everything that I came to do. And my friend Josie hasn't showed up. So she must have something else to do. I probably will not be here next Wednesday. I will probably be back at youth. Which I'm kind of excited about. Not that I haven't enjoyed our chats on Wednesday. But I really have been called to this younger generation. Um, not because I'm anything special. Because I am not. But I do love them. I love them and I want them. I want to share with them the truth. God's truth in His Word. And the Gospel of Jesus. I want to share with them things. The No. The one way that I share with them is through music because as I share these songs and things that God brings to my mind about these songs, I also share praise and worship with them. Um, and I so enjoy doing that. So I want to read tonight, I want to read Isaiah. This is my focal verse. And... Um, I think yesterday it was my U version verse. 
Okay, so Isaiah 43, 18 through 19 says, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. To me, what that says is that we are not to dwell on the past. We are not even to dwell on all these stories about Israel. Because God's going to do a new thing. He's going to do a new thing. This is great history. And there are so many great lessons in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. But we are in today. We live in today. We live in the present. So behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? And we will know it. When God does this new thing, we're going to know it. We're going to know it. Everybody's going to know it. Everyone's going to know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Right now, there are countries in the desert that periodically flood. That's very unusual. And... Uh, Anyway, I like that verse, and I want to give you God's blessing before I get off of here. In Numbers 6, 24 through 26, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. We all need some peace. We all need peace. Okay. Well, my friends, my pray and share warriors, as I like to call you, I am a pray and share warrior too. I want to share of the goodness of God. I want to share the good things that He has done in my life. I want to share testimony. Those are the things that I want to share. But I want you to share with me too. I want you to leave me comments. Leave your name. Because especially on Facebook. I don't know who came to watch. So please leave your name. And if you have any prayer requests. Then please leave your prayer request. So that I will know who came. And um, I'm going to do some different things this year. I'm in the middle of expanding to different platforms. I don't know how great that's going to work because they're really trying to squelch our freedom of speech. Um, and that's not a conspiracy theory. That's the truth. So, um, I don't know. But until they silence us on media, they're not ever going to silence me. They can't silence me. I can be talking about Jesus in my head. Or I can be singing about Jesus in my head. They will never silence me. But anyway. Enough of that. And um, I need to pray. I need to get off of here and pray. And go take care of my child. Although I already fed him so that's already done um but i need to do dishes and i need to do other things my poor husband came in and i said i don't know what to cook i said i am so sick of everything and we don't have much anyway i ordered groceries today we're going to have groceries tomorrow so i don't know he has he has things that he can heat up and eat all right well let's go ahead and pray God, we just come to you, and we are just so thankful, God, that we have the opportunity to come before your throne, that we are your children, and that you love us, God, and you care about us, and you care about what happens in our lives. You care about the small things. You care about the medium things. You care about the big things, God. You just love us and care about us, and you want the very best for us. You have a plan and purpose for each and every one of the people that are on this earth god and you created each and every one of them you created all of the universe god including 
this planet. And God, you sustain. You are the sustain the sustainer. You sustain this planet. You don't need anybody to come along and try to sustain your planet. You've got it all under control. You are on your throne and you are in control. And if some of these silly people that want to do silly things would just read your word, they would see how much you love them and what a better plan and purpose that you have for them. But God, I want to pray for some people that are sick. I want to pray for healing for them. I just want to pray. I just want to lift them up to you, God. Even without saying their names, I know their names. You've laid them on my heart, God. And you know every detail to their illness. Things that maybe even they don't even know, God. Just please give them strength and help them to heal. And let them feel your presence in their healing, God. Um, maybe it would be a time that they can be still and they can listen to you, God. They can just listen to you. God, I just pray for our country. It is so broken in so many ways. It has so gone by the wrong way. God, things are so messed up. I see a parallel good and evil in words in all things God and I know that that's what your word said would happen in these last days and we are in the last days and just like you showed me that hourglass God there is more sand at the bottom than there is at the top and time is running out so quickly people so need to come to you they need to come to Jesus they need salvation, God. So we pray. We pray that you would open their eyes and their ears and their hearts to the truth, God. And that they would believe truth when they see it. God, that the Holy Spirit would draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. God, we just pray for peace, unity, and love and compassion. But it only comes through Jesus, so it will only come through salvation. Because there is false peace, there is false love, there is false unity. But God, only the true peace, unity, love, and compassion flows through Jesus. And flows from the hearts of your children. Help us to be an example to our country and to the world, God. Of that, let us reflect that love, that peace, that compassion, that unity God help us to be more in your presence God help us to want to be more in your presence help us to testify of the good things that you've done in our lives and help us to encourage others God just help us to be still and listen to you I never really have done that before until last year God and you are so willing to speak to us but we have to be willing to be still and listen also. Help us just to slow down. So we can follow what you want us to do. And in Jesus name I pray. Amen. So. My brothers and sisters. My prayer is that many, many will be saved. And if it, that is you, if you need salvation, then please pray, admit, believe, confess in your prayer. Be thankful to, be thankful, be thankful that Jesus was willing to pay the price for everyone on this earth. And that God does not want people to perish. God is not sitting up there going, Man, I can't wait to exact my wrath on that person. He loves everyone. But He wants us to come into that saving relationship through Jesus to Him. 
He wants to call us all His children. The truth is, we all don't follow Him. So maybe think about those things. That was I wasn't even planning on saying any of that. I think that was the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit speaks through us sometimes, too. All right. Well, y'all have an awesome rest of your evening and an awesome tomorrow. And I will be here tomorrow night. And I don't know what I'll be talking about. But uh, God bless you all and your families. And good night. Much love and hugs.